everyone I'm here to share another of my painting um, this is one of my favorites and I wanted to share with you how I did it um, so starting with it I did it on a mezzanite or encaustic board I had it for a couple of days and I was not using it I planned to start with encaustics but somehow just didn't get to it so I thought of using this board and I like the um, you know sturdiness of it and I wanted to create something which would be a little rugged in its look but still you know very artistic and very fragile by nature but rugged in look so here I thought of a flower uh, which is you know flowers are generally fragile but when I used it with the materials which are rugged which I here I use some uh, this is a decoration sand, the coarse sand which you have for home decoration, like the pebbles one. Here I use some of the acrylic gems for decoration. I'll show you those. So, um, so I wanted to make something which, um, which is a contrast by nature, like you know, not not by nature, but just in look. So here is this acrylic gems which I use in the bottom. So they come in mixed color, uh, white and blue. So they're translucent type, so that's what I used. And then for the flower petals, I use some of this coarse sand. Um, pebbles which you get to fill the pots um, so I'll start with this ha this painting has a couple of layers in it so I'll explain what are the different layers it has got so my first layer is with paper uh, I normally start with paper as my first layer because um, especially when I'm stuck with how, what to create how to create and when you put the papers on a board they give kind of um, when you put different pieces of paper of magazine or tissue or you know scripts or even your old um, notebook papers the, they start giving a different texture and a look and you might be able to pull out different images out of it so that's what I did so if you can see here like some of the papers will still show off from the clear uh, image uh, from the clear paint uh, medium I have put on the painting so here is one uh, which is showing off here is um, another one if you can see the lines um, this one uh, this is some dress I think I used from my magazine so I put the papers first then I sprayed some color on it I make my own spray colors with some water mixed with uh, food color I use the Wilton cake decoration color um, and some glue so I make my own um, spray paints um, so I use some green and blue paint first on this um, spray on it so that went on paper that was my second layer third layer I use some crackle medium um i just painted it left it like that and when it was slight wet i gave it a spray of pink at places so that was my third layer fourth layer i um added some ribbons here um this is my hand uh, made um paper punch ribbon i made uh using martha stewart's punches i believe uh so that's i that's the one i put in here and then on top of it I use some epoxy um, uh, just to you know give it a, another clear uh, it was actually not epoxy it was the dimensional medium from plate which is similar to epoxy so a thin layer of that and then I added my beads uh, the gems here sorry not the beads the acrylic gems and sprayed some color and if you notice that they were like white and blue earlier but when I sprayed the colors the color was retained in it 
and I and I put it when um, the dimensional um, fluid was dimensional uh, medium was still you know kind of wet so that it can hold well these beads uh, these gems uh, so and then at the same time I sprayed the colors so the epoxy the uh, gems and the colors they blended well to give uh, a different um, you know color effect on this uh, so that was there and then for the flower the center flower I cut it on a paper I roughly sketched it cut it on a paper and then I colored it again with um, the Wilton um, gel colors uh, that was pink I did so you can see the pink beneath it the pink color here uh, so once that was done I glued that paper on the board and uh, again with a thick layer of glue on the paper I sprinkled my sand so that's where uh, this came once this was done for the center I used the same uh, gems which I had here in the center um, and I sprayed it with pink and purple color so that's where um, the color of the ge acrylic gems changed um, once this was done I did my final layer um, with aluminium foil I did an outline of the flower because it was with these um, sand or um, sands they were a little rough on the edges but i still wanted to look it defined i didn't want it to look like a paved road uh unpaved road or anything i just wanted to look it defined as a flower so i gave the aluminium foil here uh, around it and then for the center um, it hung there for a while in my bedroom and then the center looked a little different a flat um these rosettes were not there earlier but it looked a little flat so i thought maybe i'll add some rosettes um to make the center and it really came out well better than what it was earlier so um i made these rosettes again from the same rope i created out of aluminium foil and then i pushed because the flower was there there was a um you know ground with the grass kind of look and then i wanted to add some leaves so i made some uh, polymer clay leaves um, from a push mold and pasted it around some of them but I didn't want the leaves to be big I want my I wanted my flower to be the centerpiece so that's what I kept I wanted leaves to be there but not like big and, and overpowering so I just pasted some of them so this is how I finished it now I'll just show you how to make the rope out of the aluminium foil um so this is the aluminium foil piece i've taken a smaller piece but you can depending on how big the rope you want for that one i used to cut out long strips but depending on how you want it you can choose your piece for the demonstration i'm using a smaller piece and i don't measure it though but just to let you know uh, for that thickness of the rope how much um would you need so this is uh, roughly around more than two and a half to uh, there's a lot of glare from sun this time so anyway um, so it's roughly around two and a half a little more uh, two and a half to three inches is good enough to make that thicker rope you can vary the thickness depending on how you like it so um, just a second I'm just testing the camera here so the way I go is I make it you choose which side you want to show off the shiny one or the matte one I want the matte one up uh, to show off so I'll keep the shiny one facing me and then I go fold it half then make another fold half and do, do a final fold so, so this is my third fold and then I just take one end of it and start twisting. Twist and press, twist and press, twist and press, twist. So you twist it and then you press it. So you twist it and then you press it. So that's how you go. And once you're done, um, like this, this is really enough. Um, so I just shape it into a petal or something. 
Thank you for watching. I'll keep posting more.